Hi guys, this is Richard at Plum Dog. I'm out at a property in Yanjibop, Western Australia. A uh, client's got us out here for a major service of a Dux 330TN gas storage hot water system, which you can see behind us. You can see by the uh, our Plum Dog stickers on here that the customers had us both install the system originally and also do a service on it about four years ago. Now, he's called us out to do the major service. Um, he particularly wanted the anodes replaced. So I've taken the, uh, taken the lid off, off the system so that we can get at the anodes inside. And I just wanted to show you this. Um, so this is what a new anode looks like. You can sort of see how thick it is. It's about an inch wide. And here's one of the two anodes that's taken out, which is literally just wire. So the wire that holds the anode together in the center, all of the magnesium is actually broken down and, and fallen away. So you can see the little circle in the middle there. That's the wire that's left on the other one. So totally broken down. So there's two anodes there that we're to replace. Now all of that anode debris, when it's broken down, it can't go anywhere. All that happens to it is it literally just sits at the bottom of the tank. So this tank will be sort of a little bit full of just anode debris. So it's really important when we do anode replacement that we actually do a full tank flush and get all of that debris and, and sediment out. Um, I've only drained the tank. I haven't yet done much with it, but you can already see sort of the, the white anode residue already. So I'm gonna do a flush now and, and take a look what comes out. Now, due to the fact that we specialize in block drains as well, we've got the perfect weapon when it comes to flushing out hot water tanks, our high pressure water jetters. Okay, so I've got the high pressure water jetter fired up. And I've just got the, uh, the jetter running on the lowest of revs. We're just using the smallest of uh, hoses here that's just for small waste pipes so we're just gonna give it a, a flush of the tank so we're inserting this hose into where the anodes came out at the top I'm gonna flush the water and debris out of the bottom cold water inlet down here As you can see, the jet is flushing away inside the tank now, getting all the debris out. Look at the color of the water. It's just powder. Look at that. And that's basically what comes out of the taps, the showers, the taps. Yeah, that all needs to come out until it runs clear. how much anode sediment came out that's crazy so I was flushing that tank for probably 20 25 minutes I would say until it ran clear um, and now it's uh, now it's time to put the uh, the new anodes in give the system a service change a couple of relief valves and then the system's good to go for another sort of four years or so um, yeah so guys out there that just simply change anodes and onto the next job just doesn't do it. You need to get this old sediment out, otherwise it's just gonna kill your system.